There are a whole host of wearable technology categories, from watches to rings and even smart clothes. And most of those technologies blend in fairly well. A smartwatch looks more or less like a watch and a ring like a ring. But when it comes to tech that's designed to be worn on your face, that's a lot harder to hide and also make the tech useful enough to where you actually want to wear it. And that's what these InmoGo are aiming to do, to give you a reason to wear these glasses. So here's what they can do. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter with this showcase of the Inmo Go, who sponsored this video. The Inmo Go are marketed as augmented reality glasses, but are closer to smart glasses. They don't have multicolor, high definition graphics meant to change the world around you like AR, but are mostly text based and designed to be an assistant with a few useful features, especially for travel and communication. More on that in a second, but first let's start with the physical look of the Inmo Go. Inside the box, they come with a USB-C charging cable and this slick, soft matte black case. Inside are the Inmo Go, which at first glance look like a pair of ordinary reading or day-to-day -day glasses. But when you take a closer look, you do notice they have thicker rims and arms, and the temple area where the arms meet the hinge is a bit longer than most regular sight or sunglasses. A big part of that, of course, is to make space for all the tech inside. There's two buttons and speakers, one in each arm, plus some microphones. The battery is 220 milliamp hours, and that gives you several hours of battery life depending on the brightness of the screen and whether or not you're listening to music. Everything is matte black, and that helps hide some of these speaker grills here and the buttons and the microphones so that these AR glasses or these smart glasses look a lot more like glasses than previous versions of this tech. The whole thing weighs 52 grams, and from a distance, you might not notice that this is tech in disguise, but take a closer look and you might notice there a reflective yellow brownish, if you can see that, a reflective yellow brownish, sometimes blue sort of reflection here on the right lens. And what that is, is basically a screen which displays text to the wearer that you can see when you put these on. It's not the easiest to capture with a camera, but you can see the InmoGo's bright green text that seems to be hovering out in front of you at distances that vary by how close actual objects are to you. So if, for example, I look over at that wall over there, then the text is gonna seem a lot further away. But if I put my hand like this, then the text that I'm reading is gonna seem a lot closer after my eyes refocus. So it kind of depends at what you're looking at. If you're looking off, at the sky into infinity, the 2000 nits of brightness that are on the glasses make it fairly easy to read. You can still see the text, even though I'm looking almost straight at the sun. And the text seems to just kind of be floating somewhere between me and the sky. You start by downloading the InmoGo app and pairing the glasses with your phone. The setup is quick and fairly straightforward, and there are tutorials that help guide you through the basic functions. Upon startup, you see the time, battery life, date, weather, and two prompts at the bottom to activate a voice assistant or the other for translation services. Now the voice assistant is based on ChatGPT, so I can ask it things like, how much does an elephant weigh? Okay, it says the answer is between 700 and 6,000 kilograms. There we go. Or for example, I can tap to activate it again and ask, is there a good cafe nearby? And that's going to tell me that there's a cafe 500 meters away and what street I need to make a right on and how to get there. And like I mentioned, even though I am outdoors and it's pretty bright out here, I can see what the text says on the screen. Although it is a little bit easier when I've got a darker background and if it gets too bright, I mean, it's never really too bright, maybe up against the sky. I can just kind of put my hand or use something as a darker background so I can read the text from the glasses. If you want to scroll up, just swipe the touchpad and you can see any previous text. It's using your phone as the brains here and the InmoGo app is needed to get all of this working and it's mostly seamless. You can also configure it to receive notifications so that you can see your texts and make phone calls as well. The speakers can also transform the InmoGo into open ear headphones. The sound quality is good, but not surprisingly, there's a fair amount of noise bleed, so you can't use that feature in a lot of places where there's a reasonable expectation of quiet, but at home or outdoors, it might not bother others nearby 
quite as much. There's also this teleprompter feature which can be useful. So normally when I'm doing a scripted video like this, I've got my script hidden out of sight, my notes, I can take a look at those when I'm not actually on the camera. But if I were to do this now, I could be reading right here the text, so I can pull that up. But if you'll notice in the camera that when the green text is activated here, I'm looking at it now, you should be able to see what I'm seeing a little bit in reverse. But to me, the real potential of glasses like these are the translation features. The InMoGo supports 12 languages from Mandarin to French and Russian with a few different modes. You start by setting the languages in the InMoGo app you want to translate to and from. There are two modes. One is for voice translation where you're listening to a specific language. It works not only for someone actually speaking to you, but also for videos or TV shows that you might be watching in another language. This could be useful, for example, when you're traveling in a foreign country and you turn on the TV and want to see what the local news is talking about. Basically, the InMoGo can translate what you're hearing, what it's hearing from the television, and give you subtitles in real time that you can read right off the glasses. You can also use the translation feature in person. For example, if you're practicing a language, but you get stuck at Midkart bitte in German, this might help fill in the gaps. You can also use the dialogue translation feature in the app to speak in one language and output the foreign language to communicate with others. The software works reasonably quickly, but it's still far off from a Star Trek type universal translator. It's still dependent on your phone and an internet connection. So for things where you don't have you know, an internet connection or where you're offline or for longer interactions with strangers out in the wild, it might not be ideal. But for situations where you're practicing or you're trying to learn a new language or maybe you're hanging out with a group of international friends and everybody's speaking in the local language which you're not fluent in or maybe you don't know any of, you can just put these on and be able to follow along. So another feature of these glasses that you may be able to use in the future is coming to like a monument such as this and then taking the glasses, turning around and then asking the glasses to say, hey, give me more information about this monument. And using the GPS in the glasses, I put these on. And then I can read more information about this particular monument through the text on the glasses, which have GPS, and learn a little bit more about the world around me. The software is still relatively new, and hopefully some of the additional features that give you information about what you're actually looking at, like what model phone is this, or how do I replace the light bulb of this bridge, hopefully those will be more fully incorporated over time. Also, the field of view of the text in the glasses forced me to kind of wear these a little bit lower down on my nose than I would normally wear glasses. And I don't really wear glasses, but I feel like to get the full sort of range of vision, the field of vision there, I have to wear these a little bit lower. So it would be nice if I could be able to adjust those maybe through the app or to just have a wider field of vision for all the text that's on the screen. But tech like the InmoGo is a big jump when it comes to this kind of wearable because before AR and smart glasses weren't that smart and they weren't the best at just being glasses either because they were too big, too bulky, it just looked like you had a whole bunch of weird tech on your face and didn't blend in very well. But glasses like the InMoGo show how much those two worlds, being smarter and more wearable in glasses form, are getting closer and closer together. That's my showcase of the InMoGo. If you want more information about these glasses, check out the link in the description box below. Thank you again, InMo, for sponsoring this video. And for all of you watching, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments section. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. I'll see you in the next video.